Alright, so we live. So, uh, matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication can only occur if let's wait on the answers from the chat. Bear in mind. Bear in mind. We don't have much clues to go from from where vectors and matrices is concerned. This is not a topic that blaze or blaze or blaze or for CXC. In fact, before 2018, I don't think they used to test this for a long while in multiple choice. So that could be why, you know, I will try in this topic. But I try to cover all the borders that I know CXC are custom testing and more. Do a little predictive maths in, inside here. Shout out to Jared, who is on the draw again, beating out Ren, which is like a miracle. Ren say it wasn't refreshing properly. Um, yeah, shout out to everybody. Two videos in one day, yeah. We did two yesterday, I think, I think two. Oh, by the way, there's a new timetable passing around, but I didn't, do, I didn't do a video on that because you see them people and me, man. I think that timetable, I'm not too sure, I'm not 100 on it. I don't want to say bootleg for it to say, to go and tell people, so say ignore that timetable, and next thing the timetable, correct? But still, not, I ain't going on it until I get something official, right? 1C, matrix multiplication can only occur if the matrices are the same size. That's not true. Sometimes they have different size. The determinant of the matrix is equal to zero. That's not true. That's nothing to do with multiplication. That's to do with inverse. The number of columns in the first matrix must be yes. So like, when you have the matrix, right? When you enter the matrix, you know there's a two by one, and this is this is what this is a two. Sorry, this is a two by two, a square, and this is a two by one. So these two numbers here, and this number here, this guy, that number represents the row, the column. Sorry, column. Remember, it's row by column. So that's the number of columns in this first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix, this guy here. Once them two numbers is the same, they're compatible. You can multiply them. Memorize that. That for sure when I be tested in one way or the other. Now it's only like four or five questions they bring on vectors and matrices. So it's not much, but no, it's still. A square matrix A multiplied by the identity matrix I is equal to I was like, no, the better thing is I bust my mouth and kick my mouth or something and I sleep in boy. When you have children, it's a health hazard. A square matrix A multiplied by the identity matrix I is equal to what? When you multiply a matrix by the identity, where is gay? Anybody have any answers for part two? Well, let's see in part two. Yeah, let's see that. Good afternoon, Finita. Zen. Zen says to pay your fees. How do you pay your fees in this class? You close the live chat and you press like on the video, then you resume watching. Janelle, what's up? Spanish in the dance, Mikhail, every, all the usual suspects are here. To be, so a square matrix, we run the same B. You multiply a matrix by the identity matrix. Like we say some randoms, a randoms. If you multiply by the identity matrix, identity matrix, this looks so by the way, what you're gonna get back? You're not gonna get B, Ren. Oh, you're chatting, no. <laughs> but I saw you. You're gonna get back the matrix itself. That's like if you multi the identity matrix has come like one. So three times one is three, four times one is four. So you know, just when you multiply by the multiplicative identity, you get back the number. So same thing. You so if you multiply them by the matrix A, you're gonna get back A. That that is the answer. C. C, not D. Whoa, we had a we had a very few different little answers here. People wasn't clear on that. This could be tested as well, maybe 50-50. The idea of the identity matrix, I'll say 50-50 chance that something like this come. We nearly done already. It's only nine questions, nine different techniques that you should cover. I mean, you should learn the whole thing, but these are the nine techniques at risk for exams based on my expert decoding skills. Boom, let me get the answers for three and four. Josiah, you just joined. Oh, by the way, every live we get like about 20 new subscribers in us. So shout out to all the new subscribers. Who how much people we have in the chat? Like, if you if you joined the class, 
in the last month type Y in the chat this is your time to shine because we have some people here since forever some of them names you see me these people here since me know like since seven form three them watching the time so you have 90 people watching so are there are there anyone is there anyone who um within the last month just touched up why is in the chat never call you by name don't, don't have too much early is it? Somebody saying three C. Renice. Renice, the statement is our boy, not our boys. Where's our boys? This <laughs> so you get for laughing at the feels like Rosemary Davidson, Zen, Chanel, Marka, Smasher. All right. Um, Krishona, Cool Boy, Sheldon, Kevin, David, Analia, Destiny, Tyrish, Janine, Shivanis, Chads, Chads, Debo, Sp Spanish, Britain, Finita, Shanine, Stacy, Rosella. Shout out to all the new people. Shout out to all the new people. Love and blessings. Who's Amelia Maraj? That name sounds familiar. I know I, I know like two Amelia Maraj. Is it an Amelia Maraj that I know? One is a big singer. Exactly, Lizzy Fees alone. <laughs> the iPad good, the iPad good. Headphones good too. It was a water bottle. Exactly, Lizzy Fees alone. Which of the following major C's does not have an inverse? Three A. People saying this one does have an inverse. People saying B. People saying B doesn't have an inverse. And not much people saying anything. People saying C. Uh, B, C. Alright, so to find the inverse, if you wouldn't have an inverse if your determinant is equal to zero. If your determinant is equal to zero, you don't have an inverse. How do you find the determinant of a matrix? Let's like say the matrix is A, B, C, D, the determinant. Everybody know this. Matrices was one of the first tutorials two years ago that I did on this channel when I now started, and it's still good. It like wine again, better with age. Them videos have kind of 20,000 views and thing. 30, 40. Anyhow, um, so this is how you find the determinant A by D minus B by C. And if this is equal to zero, if you get zero here, that means the matrix is called singular. It has no inverse for that matrix. Singular. Right? But most of you all singular here because of the, I don't know, the determinant equal to zero or something. So the determinant is equal to zero. Singular. And it looking like this one will do the suspiciousness. D is not singular. All, right. all you need to do is this by this. You can do it in your mind. This by this. Take away that by that. So this is 4 by 1, take away 3 by 2. That's not going to give me 0. Give me my negative 2. This one is actually 3 times 4, negative 3 times 4. Take away negative 6 times 2. Well, you can say 2 times 6, negative 6 times 2, same thing. Um, so this is negative 12. Take away negative 12. This will turn to plus. So you'll end up with 0. So this is the one that is singular. Very likely, I would say 80% they will test something yeah i think that i need a boot kyle all right kyle put pay your pay your instagram handle there let me see if somebody will get a pity bird all right so um what are we gonna say these not singular these not singular this will be tested this should be tested maybe like i'll say 70 percent chance that this can come the idea and and the idea is what is important right if the determinant is equal to zero, no inverse. They could probably find another way to test it. Remember, these are original questions come from the heart and soul of Cohen Springer, based on my experience. But I'm telling you, they're good. They're good. I sure CXE might take some of my exact questions. Next year. <laughs> what is the determinant of the identity matrix I? The determinant of the identity matrix I. Well, we use I sometimes as a symbol to represent the identity matrix. And they should have said 2 by 2, and by there I mean me. 
the identity matrix, the, the two by two identity matrix is one zero zero one. That kind of diagonal ones going on there. The determinant of this is the same thing. A B minus B C. So it's one times one minus zero times zero. So it's one. The determinant is one. So four is B. Well done. <laughs> at Kyrius, <laughs> you must say Instagram is at kind. That's not it. <laughs> A pity, baby. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. So we halfway. We halfway home. The question bank, July twenty twenty. This is going to be interesting. This is the first. Like I did a little small work, worksheets, workbooks, them kind of thing. But this is the first major publication that I'm going to do. And I'm going to save lives out here. I can't wait to hear the testimonies testify. Alright, so it will be available as an ebook from Monday. So those who have access to a credit card, those who can get access to a credit card to buy it, will be some of the first people to get it. Now I'm trying to figure out ways, because I know not everybody... Although real people is do online shopping now, and most I sure most people in the chat here get things bought from online already. So if you can get things buy from online, you can buy a book. Um, can they or talk to your parents or something? You know, let them know need the book to save many lives. The book is finished. For all intents and purposes, I just finalizing the answer answer section so that you can compare so that I can get the answers sooner. All the answers will be supplied. I just scroll through the whole book. The transformation matrix. So there's a transformation matrix. It'll be it'll be a little over 100 US. 100 TT. My bad. My bad. A little over 100 TT. Yes, the questions can be asked in another way, obviously. I am. Oh gosh. They wouldn't. But the techniques, the techniques that are being tested here. So some people don't shop online and that kind of thing. So we try and look out some kind of thing that could happen. There's some services in Trinidad, you know, that thing is PYs and some other service that allows you to do that. So if somebody screen record the ebook and post it. Well, I mean, I go into the questions here now, so why are you doing that? <laughs> I go into the questions here, the idea is so that you'll have, uh, you will have something solid so that you can do revision in your spare time and you have it in all in one spot, not a whole video, set of videos. The videos is for the answers. And plus, you would be, you would be helping. So, somebody saying 5B. 5B. Form for students are registering form for students right now in my online class. 5B, a reflection about the line y equals x, that is correct. So there are different types of transformation you should know when you're going into your exam. This is the identity matrix. To get all the different transformation, we do we do some obia. I shouldn't say obia. We do some gymnastics on this matrix. So like if I do so, I don't want to say what I do because it's in one of the questions. If I do so, let's do something too. If I switch it up like this, this is actually a reflection in the line y is equal to x. A reflection, right? And if I do so, this is also something as well. With a little different thing, it means you can do also, if I do this, and I should probably include this question as well, but I didn't include this one. But I guess when you go into the answers, it's just like any themes, the different topics. I don't, it's not like I repeat, 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 repeat. Nobody answering me. Kyle, what book is that? Sir? Oh, Kyle. The question bank. You see all these videos you're doing, I'm compiling all the questions. I already do it. I'll compile, I compile all the questions. That I think could possibly come for CXE, like possibly come in. So it's not like 60 questions, like good bit of questions. A book comprised of happiness. I'm going to write down the book. 
I'm going right on now. All right, in the, on the third page. Who see that? You and Scott, look out for that when you buy the book. No part of this, blah, 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 blah. Students can use this book track here. Yes, yes. Quotations, a book comprised of happiness. Aaron Scott. Aaron, you might not use your name here, right? Aaron Scott. Form 5. In Form 5, right, Aaron? Italics. Do you have to pay when you register for the online class? Yes, the online class. But you spell happiness wrong, but I fix it for you. Um, this is an enlargement. Skill factor two. So this one, I should do this one. I need to pay the enlargement. This one, enlargement, they normally attack three points with that, like a triangle. And... <laughs> Three points like a triangle, and when yeah, when the when the transformation occurs on all the points, boom, it get bigger. So like if you had this point here, if you had this triangle like this, right? And this triangle is um let me see one, two, um two, three, two, and one four something, right? Now if you if you take this and hit him at two zero zero two transformation what will happen you're going to put all the all these points these points these points here when i get touch up with this transformation here so like the new the new point is going to be like two eight i just do the multiplication really quick because two by one is two zero by four is zero and 0 by 1 is 0, 2 by 4 is 8. So in the end, you'll end up with 2 8. So in other words, the new point is going to be 2 8. In the end, you're going to end up with a triangle looking like this. Something like this. That enlarged twice. I hope all you... Why is in the chat if you're catching, catching the vibes? Why <laughs> I just want to be happy, you know. So, that is... This is, this is the... Um, this is what this type of transformation does. So you can immediately understand, like, if this turns to 3, the scale factor will turn to 3 as well. So we have the different types here. Now, I, I have videos on YouTube on this, but remember, multiple choices just take out one concept and just straight in a question. So you don't need to know the whole statement and everything, but you need to understand the concepts inside out. So hopefully, this sit down, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to prepare for this. So the answer to this is yes, a reflection about the line y is equal to x. Let's get the next question quickly. Oh gosh, I lost the page when I'm going to write this man thing. Number six, we pass half mark. Let's do it, Cassidy here. The transformation. Let me put A Scott, yes. I don't have the permission to use people. I don't know what age is. The transformation negative one zero zero one represents a reflection about the x-axis. Uh, which one is this? Which one it is? Which one it is, people? It's number six. Shamel, Shamel, you don't understand how I get the transformation. Oh, you just multiply. All right, so let's look at this one then. Negative one, zero, zero, one, right? Let me say the point was two, four. Where is two, four? Where are you, two, four? Two, four. So that point up here. So that's the point. Let me say that's the point A. If we have to transform this point using negative 1, 0, 0, 1, and you have 2, 4 here, 
this is going to be negative 1 by 2 is negative 2. 0 by 4 is 0. 0 by 2 is 0. 1 by 4. I hope you know how to do your matrix multiplication. That's not what I'm teaching right now. Eh? So negative 2, 4. If you want to learn how to do the matrix multiplication, you need to go and watch my video, Mark Matrix Multiplication, in a nice, concise video. So you notice what the new point is. This is the transform point. That is your, this is your A, your A, 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 not inverse, A prime, your, your A, A dash, your A prime point, the new point, your reflection. And that point is, that point is negative 2, 4. So it's over here. So what is that? What is that? So most people say in C, which is correct. Is a reflection about the y-axis. So if you see any negative on this first one, it goes and switch the x coordinate from positive to negative. If you're switching the x coordinate from positive to negative, you're actually reflecting across the y-axis. So in the transformations, this one is the y-axis reflection. This one is the x-axis reflection. When it swap around like this, this is the reflection in line y equal to x. When it swap around with negatives, this is the reflection in the line y is equal to negative x. Right? Understood? Very nice. And then you have these special cases of the enlargements. So these are the one, two, three, four, five to really look out for. For um let's call this thing CXE. But especially look out for this guy and these two. Especially look out for them. And look out for everything. But the enlargement with the 2002. That's an important one. Important. I feel like I see that back in the days because they used to test these things back in the days. So my logic is undeniable. Let's get number seven and eight in the dance. We're down to the last three questions. So I can see something just now. So I can miss it. Where I was really seeing. My partner Cassidy boy. Cassidy boy is you with everything good. Everything good in the centrals. I feel that match coming real hand. Somebody says. It remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. Get the book, you can feel safe. If A is equal to a square 2 by 2 matrix, if A is a square 2 by 2 matrix and B is equal to 2, B is equal to 2 times the inverse of A, what is the value of 2AB? Alright, <laughs> people. Okay, let me get an answer for this one. It's a little complicated. So this is the last match for a while. Elon must launch a whole rocket, yes. Really, today I was watching it with my son, those who were here earlier in that live. Things good? Things good, things good? Alright. That way you're saying for the people to see and then... No comment. If A is equal A is square 2 by 2 matrix and B is that, what is the value of 2 A, B, 7, C? Alright, so let me see. It had to be the real smart ones answering this one. So... 2AB, remember B is really 2 inverse. So 2AB is like 2 by A by 2 by A inverse. This 2 could come and deal with that. So it's like really 4 by A by A inverse. And everybody know a matrix multiplied by its inverse is the identity matrix. So 4 times the identity matrix, D. Ooh, not a soul get curved. Look at C's. Not a soul got it correct. 
This is the first time in, oh, in, in two weeks doing it. We have a question that I think nobody gets correct. Maybe, maybe the first time. Excited for the explanation for this part. <laughs> All right, let's let's talk a little bit about this then. You know, you had the number three. All right, let me shut up using number three. You had the number five multiply by one over five. You're gonna get. Let me use an equal sign here because that's what I really want to use. You're gonna get one. Five multiply by one over five is one. If you multiply a number by its multiplicative inverse, you get the identity. Remember, the multiplicative inverse is like 1 over a, and the identity, the multiplicative identity is 1. This same concept is seen in matrices. It could happen in addition to, let me show you, like if I have the number 6 plus the additive inverse, I'm going to get the additive identity. The additive identity is 0. If you add 0 to anything, you're going to get back the same number. If I add the inverse of a number to itself, it's come like 60 carry 6, I'll get 0. So the same concept is applied in matrix, matrix. If I have a matrix A and I multiply it by its inverse, I am going to get the identity matrix. That's how it works. That's how it works. So like if I have a matrix 1, let me show how to get the inverse very quickly. Actually, no, I'm not going to go through this whole thing because I have a video on YouTube really explain this. And a good bit of people know how to do this already because they was revising. So if you were, if you wasn't revising and you don't know how to find the inverse determinant, all these things hotting up your head, this is one of the easiest topics, but given the most respect. Major C's is one of the topics in maths given so much, so much respect and fear, but it's actually so easy. Unbelievably easy. Not that tricky. I could understand how bearings can be very tricky for a student. I can understand how certain parts of trigonometry um, and circle geometry, I can easily understand how that can be tricky for a student. But believe me when I say matrices, it's a simple subject. You could study major As a teacher, I can teach matrices at the start of the year because it almost could stand by itself because at the end of the day, the, the, the foundational principles is multiplication and division. So, so what I'm saying is B is equal to 2 times A inverse, and they want 2AB. So 2AB is really 2A, and B is really 2 times A inverse. So I'm going to put 2A inverse instead of B there. 2 by 2 is 4. Don't forget that. And A by A inverse is the identity matrix. So the answer is 4I. So this had a little extra two one thing here. What they might ask in CXC, this kind of concept, they might just ask you something that you need to understand when you multiply the inverse by the matrix, you're going to get back 1, 0, 0, 1. Or, in other words, I, where I is the, um, I is the identity matrix. It's just a letter we use to represent the identity matrix. So let's get the answer for number 8 now. now. Anybody start putting answers for number eight? Number eight is a, a next topic that usually comes in paper two. Like I heavily repeated. 8C. Somebody say something about the first one I'm in that too. <coughs> Yes, I include it too. A, if A is equal to a square by a square, 2 by 2 matrix. At this redundant, I'm going to take all the words A square. I'll just say for A 2 by 2 matrix. I'll let you know song that I'm back on the If A is 
a two by two matrix. Yeah, that's that's better. So most people are saying eight. So this is called equivalent matrices. You need to just equate it and do like algebra. So this is really algebra hiding in darkness. Algebra is that you two p is equal to six. So p is equal to six divided by two equals to three. And the next one three p plus one is equal to negative eight. 3p is equal to negative 9, because when I bring across this, it will be like negative 1, and um, negative 8 take away 1, negative 9. So p is equal to negative 9 divided by 3, negative 3. So the answer is this one. C, 8c. So, so it's just 2a, a, no, it's 2a. Remember, they want two a b, so two a b, and instead of b, I'm gonna write this two a inverse. So in the end is two a two a inverse. So in the end is four a by a inverse. A by a inverse is i. So the answer is four times i. That making sense? Rest in peace, George. Boy. All right, so let's let's get in. Let's get the last. Oh shucks! It's how I say it at nine questions, but really at twelve. This is the second time I set up the whole class like this. Cause remember, they do the vectors question too. Cause what is he in the vectors and matrices now? So this is some vectors. We just did the matrices, and I leave out a whole page. Let me see how they can feel about that. Five forty people. We are real time. Vector P is equal to 0, negative 3, and vector Q is equal to 3, 4. Therefore, 3, Q minus P. All right, this is test. This is a 100% question. See, this, this is their favorite thing in vectors. Equating one thing to another, the next thing, and then at your equation thing. <laughs> love this. They love it. So make sure you can do this style of question like a boss. So 3q minus p. 3q minus p. 3, 3, 4 minus 0, negative 3. What? <laughs> so 9 by 12. Subtract zero negative three. So nine fifteen. I doesn't even remember painting these answers. So I got nine C. Yeah. Well done to the people who say nine C. That's correct. That's okay, sir. More math is good. So let's willfully do this thing. <laughs> so let's we do that because. Right, so yeah, you all understand that, right? So that would be like the most common question. Let's do 10 and 11. Come on now. Come on now. So we are supposed to finish there, but... Oops. So 10 and 11. Don't, don't try to see 11. Let's just get 10. So I make 10 big so you can see 10, right? So let's have a new webcam coming. Oh, yeah, this is the end. This is the end. This is the end of the match. Sweat for the while. Next time we come in, you with a different sweat. You know, I'm supposed to be making note of all the answers because I had these answers to write down. The image of point Q, right? Need the translation, see me, me. Make sure you can do this. Trans Somebody say B. Jarel. Jarel says B. Shanine says C. The image of a point Q on the translation, this. So, what you need to do is make him rise up. So, say, rise up, brother. 
when you're rising him up make sure that this one come up eh? so the, the negative two goes up there and when you hit him that translation a translation means you're adding translating you know? so you're adding it was a transformation with like the fat matrix like what you have been from before you had to multiply and you put the other matrix the other the, the coordinates here but if it's a translation you're adding because you're using a vector right vector is addition so this is gonna take us into the land of negative three seven minus you need a bod i love it when i get in conflicts like this so this one so why people say this one though? Why on earth or the multiply? <laughs> oh God. So like this is the question here. This is the question. For Instagram. Three days now I'm supposed to pop a question every day and I didn't get a chance to pay them. First this book thing had me burning the midnight oil. No time for the gram. I didn't get any time to as normally get a little time a little half an hour to go on, you know. See what my students up to. See what kind of foolishness they boast in on Instagram. I asked them about this and that. But I was too busy this week. Alright, the image of point M under the translation T is that. What is the translation T? So this is like the reverse of this question. Both of these questions, I would say one of them must come. One or the other must come. Right? I mean, that is the same numbers and thing. The numbers from me, but the concept must come. Take it from the me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is the Instagram question number 10 because I had some confident errors there. A lot of multiplication went right there. Eleven B. The image of a point M and under translation T is 12, 0. What is the translation? T. Hey, this translation is supposed to be in a vector format. Let me fix that. That's supposed to be standing up. What are you doing lying down, brother? Come, let me make you stand up. Oh, boom. Insert equation. Boom. It was times zero. So in other words, yeah, adding on twelve zero. So this supposed to really look like twelve zero, right? So six one. Add on. Yo. No, I was good. I was good. I was good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize to Kevin of the past. It was correct, brother. It written kinda it written kinda cool in the past, it written kinda sus, eh? but CX is right thing sus too, so I got lawyer. The image of the point M, the image that is that is supposed to have some kind of subject verb agreement, something here taking place. This is English, right? Under a translation, T is that. So the image is that. You understand? So the image is not a translation. They're trying to find out what the translation is. So the translation is the one that understands. So in other words, you add 6, 1. You add on a T here, a mystery T. And you get 12, 0. What you could do to 6 to get to reach a 12? So it's one out of these, right? And then you're missing two numbers here and you're trying to find it out. You're trying to find out what the translation is. So... The translation here, you're adding on 6 and something to get 12. 6 add 6 is 12. So 1 out of these. And 1 add something here. It looks like 0, but that, that's supposed to be an empty space, meaning we're trying to... Normally we'll put X and Y and we keep out and all kind of thing. But I just wait to see how to do this with bare intelligence. Bare intelligence. So the, the, y, the Y value here will have to be negative 1 because we're going to 0, right? So B, all those who said B, all his bosses. This was the next one that was kind of conflicted. Ren, no, so that's the image. Ren. Ren, you're in your studying, but Ren, you're going to hit them good. You're going to do them good. But Ren, what, what, what letter you said, Ren? 
11 B, long time when say B, that is performance. But a lot of people switch to D, you know? look thing, look thing. So B is the correct answer. Last question. The last question is the major type of vector question. Major type of vector question, major laser type of vector question. Uh, this is a hundred percent us too. They must bring in something like this. Either a triangle, a parallelogram, or a rectangle. So I hit you the, the, the worst one most students will find, a parallelogram. So one of this must come, guaranteed. So how is negative one? Because one plus something giving you zero. It can be one, it can be one and one giving you zero. Since 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 I was three years old, I'm telling me one and one is given two. So therefore I know it can be this one. So one plus negative one must be zero. Let me, let me bring chat. Who asked me? Khadija, you want me to bring Chavi in to, to answer that question or what? Um Hey, let me make sure it right eh? uh, let's see. Uh, uh. Anytime I start a course on people is when you know mistakes is happen. Boom. So 12C, 12A, 12D. Ren says A. Let me see if Ren holds now the correct answer. But the majority of people saying C. We have every answer in the chat except B. Oh no, Alia C it did not B, so she come and make a B there. Somebody said lagging, but I ain't gonna I get no lagging warning. So Britanni, Britannia, Britannia. I think there's a U problem. Alright, so you went this way. Pay attention to the directions. That's the killers. That's the silent killer. And he went that way, right? So U V. Pay attention. That is the killers. D C is U, right? And D A is V. Good, 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 good. Good. Now me M C M C now. Multiple choice. That's what M C stands for. M C expressed in terms of U and V. Uh, we gain half of U. Half of U and, and a backwards kind of V. Half of U and negative V. A, A is the answer. What Ren see? Let me see if Ren really cooking with Ren. Cool, yeah. Ren, Ren. Ren, that is performance, Ren. I think there's the question for him. There's the question for the gram. Which one, which one of you should go for the gram? This one or this one? 10 or 12? This is 12. Twelve have a whole diagram and all kind of similarity. And people get it wrong out here. Trust me, yes. And and ten ten more people get it wrong by that. It's a simple little question. And the, the trick in this is a lot of people multiply. Yeah? Which one are they you? 12 or 10. It was in 12, 10, 12, 10, because I get it correct. 12, 10, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 10. It even. Alright, 10 seconds are out wait now. No, 12 get back in the dance. Or they can't make up on your mind back. I flip a coin. I flip a coin. Somebody's 11, yes. Alright, tell you. That's the end of the match set for now. Look out for the book on Monday. Again, that inside that. I don't know if you have anybody in form four here join the class. And a good bit of people joining the online class. That online class starts Tuesday. Some of you all here will go on and do at um, Pure Maths Unit 1. My Pure Maths Unit 1 class. The registration for that will take place somewhere around August. Somewhere when you're finishing up exams, that's when the registration for that will take place. And at Maths as well. If anybody gonna do ad but I think. You know? So what subject are the feel we should do next? 
So my former math teacher told me the earth is flat. No, that's some people still believe the earth flatten. And they all the evidence and all kind of things. We have time for that. I just watch a rocket take off into the sky and go around a curved surface. Go in the go up in the atmosphere. Fighting all that. I want <laughs> Natalia, Natalia outside. Bless her. Don't forget to press like when you're on your way out. Eh? Don't forget to pay fees. Kem, Kem, I find Kem. Add maths next, please. I feel we had to do two subjects next. You know? So I do a chem, do a physics. Chem, physics. Or chem, add maths. Chem, add maths. Or a physics, add maths. The physics, add maths, that's something like it make more sense. Do a physics, add maths. Then swing back in later with a chem geo sweat. So again, all those subjects physics, chem, and maths. Physics, chem, and maths. Alright, Kelly, if you didn't do it yet for the, um, for the season, take a screenshot now, post it on your Instagram, tag me at Cohen Springer, or Talk about the book that gonna come out. Let students know that they can get this um, this the question bank. As in the name of the book, the question bank with all possible themes for CXC. Gears up for that. Let students know what you know. I'll put it on Instagram. What what topics to do next? I'll put the photo on Instagram. What topics to do next? And I'm doing two other times. So whether it's admats, physics, chem, geo. Wait, how more real people is be doing geo than geo people? Oh, I'll see, I'll see. I really don't want to do, do geo now. So it's really a chem, physics, admats, what bundle? What bundle are they want between that? All right. We outside. So no classes tomorrow because we don't do classes on Sunday. We we'll take a break on a Sunday. So um classes back on Monday. But on Monday we got a little special bonus so that you could get a book and start studying for yourself, taking your little freshers. Alright people, Jelani, good to see you. Chelsea, Josiah, Captain, President, Chairman of the Break Committee. Trent, Ian, Swagman, Dark Magician. Blessings, that magician always in the, always in full support. Natalie, Akisha, we outside. Where the um stop streaming, but hold on, eh? Hold on, eh?